President Joe Biden has yet to declare that he is officially running for re-election, but some Republican contenders for the White House aren't waiting. They are taking center stage at a gathering in the D.C. area. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. CPAC is underway as we speak here at National Harbor, the annual Conservative Political Action Conference. Now, I don't have the head counts, but a lot of people filling up this enormous convention center in the rooms and hallways here. Now, some of the biggest names running for the Oval Office set to speak. Among them, of course, former President Donald Trump, former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley, and biotech investor Vivek Ramaswamy. Welcome to CPAC, everyone. As Republicans and conservatives look to regain control of the White House in 2024, one politician known for being blunt puts it this way. The Biden administration sucks. <laughs> you measure it any way you want. COVID, the economy, inflation, the national debt, the border, crime, cancel culture, treating parents like domestic terrorists. But the presidential race is not the only focus. The issues dividing and polarizing the country remain front and center. Speakers today addressing some of those key topics, like the crisis at the southern border. Our children are being poisoned by fentanyl that is coming across this border. Senator Marsha Blackburn says fixing the border crisis should be a bipartisan issue. Let me tell you something. There is nothing compassionate about Joe Biden's open border policy. Nothing. This year, former President Donald Trump will deliver the big speech that comes Saturday night. And whether a 2020 rematch is in store for the country, only time will tell. But Donald Trump is almost guaranteed to win the event's annual unscientific presidential poll, one of many polls to come between now and Election Day 2024. When Donald Trump is, is removed from Twitter, yeah, it's terrible, it's awful for him, but it's really an attack on you because his right to free speech means you have the right to hear what he has to say. Now, Tracy, a couple of big names, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and former Vice President Mike Pence, won't be taking part in CPAC. However, former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who is also mulling a White House run, is set to speak here. And for now, both Democrats and Republicans, well, they have a long time to decide on a front runner. At the same time, November 2024 will be here before you know it. Covering CPAC, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.